play as the miracle chaser. <laughs> um, fuck, times are intense right now, right? I think we all know that in our own way, whether it's emotionally, psychologically, physically, physically um, creation, work, relationships, it's like whatever you may uniquely be experiencing right now, I think we can all agree it's, it's pretty interesting <laughs> and just as much expansive at times as it can be like very confusing and that's what I'm experiencing like huge buckets of expansion and release and deeper understanding and then also coming face to face with whew, like so, so many other things too <laughs> and I can tend to um, like I can be a bit of a dog with a bone when it comes to like deeper integration and, and healing and things like this and wanting to just get to the bottom of it and when I was on my walk today I was like Kelly this is not serving you like you fucking need to play <laughs> and I'm naturally actually a really playful creature I'm super fucking playful and I hope you guys don't mind I'm cussing um part of the play <laughs> and I was on my walk and it was like okay what came through is I actually want to broadcast this video with my dirty knees from rolling around in the mud while in a handstand. Okay, so. <laughs> I was on my walk and nature was talking to me as she does when I walk. And she was like, Kelly, who are the most playful humans on the planet? And I was like, kids, children. And they were like, okay, what else do children have about them? What unique qualities? And I was like, children also are really malleable. Like kids are so malleable and they're so able to adapt and learn and grow and pick up new hobbies and skills and talents and um, they're very impressionable, which can be a super positive thing, right? Um, those vital years when we're so young, we're able to absorb so much and the neuroplasticity is so flexible and open and gushy and just ready to assimilate. And I was like, maybe that has something to do with play and i was thinking okay so as i've been going through a lot of like shifts internally and stuff there comes a point where you you don't need to fucking keep shifting you need to play and create space in your current way of being for these new ways of being to anchor and the way to do that is play because when we go full, whole wholeheartedly into play we soften our neuroplasticity we allow ourselves to become malleable and impressionable and open and play is the greatest chaser. It's the miracle chaser to any kind of growth pocket in your life or any kind of transformation because it lets you change up your, your point of view. Quite literally right now, I'm getting tired. <laughs> and um, yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, yeah, so I made the commitment to myself today. I'm like, I'm just gonna play. I'm gonna play with everything I do and allow myself to anchor in new patterns through play. Because I think that that can be something that feels really off limits right now. It's something that can seemingly be denied of us. You're not allowed to play. You can't go outside, you can't see your friends, you can't this, you can't be happy, people are dying. And it's like, yes, okay, all that's valid. And I, I'm going to play because play is in my nature, play is in my DNA, play is, you know, the way that I exist and thrive and, and be healthy and be aligned and, grow um, without even having to think about it <laughs> and even then like if I'm in a I'm in a funk but I throw myself in a handstand and sometimes you know it is good to process but for me I'm like Kelly sometimes you need to like not process I actually think I'm going on like a process detox for the next 10 days where I'm refusing to process anything um, I don't know it's just you know, we'll see but um, <laughs> the part of me that likes to process is like don't do that <laughs> But like honestly, play is so integrative and I've experienced this time and time again when I have just totally dropped into my body for periods of time. I think of, you know, the time I was, I was living in the bush in, the, in New Zealand, they call it the bush, which is pretty much just like the woods, <laughs> uh, the forest. And I was at a gathering where people would come in and out, but it was all totally based off the land. And we cooked food together, we made fires every night, it was just totally living off the land. No electronics, no music, no TV, just guitars and TPs and music and dancing and connecting. And I remember I was in the woods for about 30 days and I would only emerge once or twice to like go to town and get food. But I, rem but I remember when the gathering ended, 
I hadn't seen myself in a mirror for like probably three weeks, four weeks, and I looked at myself and I was like, who is that? Like I literally looked like a child. Um, not even that I looked like a child, but my soul looked so young and my body was so agile. And there's a few times I've had spurts like that where I've just totally dropped into play. I haven't pushed myself too deep to like process or think or worry about things. And often what lays on the other side is a huge, a huge growth pocket because we're not actively looking for it. You know, children grow because they play and they run and they find their joy and then they grow and they grow. And I think that perhaps, and my hopes is that moving forward, that's something that there's so much more space for, you know, getting embodied and less talking. I mean, I think it's important and I'm such a talker too. Less like talking and analyzing and like self-importance of like, well, I've got this because of this happened to me and this, 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 and this. And it's like, yes, that's all valid. And what does your body say? Yeah, okay, maybe you're a Scorpio. Okay, maybe you're a generator. Okay, maybe you're, you come from this kind of family, but what's your body saying right now? What comes through for you when you play? When you get on a field and start kicking around a soccer ball with people, like what comes through for you there? What's emerging through your essence right now? What's playfully wanting to express through you rather than putting ourselves in all these boxes? And don't get me wrong, I love the cosmic codes. They really have been such a part of my journey, but I think to some point we have to know how to ditch the tool, put it aside and say, okay, I'm gonna play here. I'm gonna live it. I'm gonna embody it. I'm gonna be it. I'm gonna breathe into my essence. I'm gonna let it breathe through me. And see also how that is so unnameable <laughs> and has all the goods, has all the goodness. So play as the Miracle Chaser <laughs> this is the title that this video wanted to be called. I don't know why, whatever. <laughs> but um, if you're watching this video, let me know in the comments below how you love to play. And I, you know, I really love hearing how other people love to play because it's so interesting. I think we can all derive play from different things. Some people find like actually like being on their computer and working on stuff is play for them. Um, some people like I, I love baking for me baking is like a huge playful activity because i can be like oh what happens if i mix the coconut flour with like this and oh how could i make this like raw vegan or how could i make this like keto or how like it's just like playing with all the different things um dancing is big play for me and it's also really integrated for me so it's fun to like walk that balance sometimes um Handstands, cartwheels, freaking anything where I'm just rolling around in the grass is play for me. Um, being with friends is play for me. Accepting stuff in nature. Um, I've always kind of done this and like just making little things in my home or pasting them onto paper and like drawing and then writing poetry and making these collages is play for me. Um, so feel free to embrace any of those and let me know if you do. But I'd love to hear your unique forms of play and your thoughts on this. Do you feel like play in your own life has had an integrated, has had a really integral place in your, in your health, in your embodiment, in your peace, um, your success? I think it honestly permeates all levels of us because it taps us into our magnetism, right? And I think that's also, I just get ripping. How long are we? Oh, 845, that's not too bad. Um, what is it to live our lives from a place of magnetism? Not like, I've got to go get that. I've got to put myself out there. I've got to, you know, in all fields, work, relationship, money, home. Like, I've got to assert myself. This is what I need from you. This is what I need from that. This is who I am in my work. This is my clientele. This is my demographic. This is my whatever. It's like, what if you ooze your essence? What if you let yourself play this unique being as you are and see what that attracts and then build from that you know like what's soul aligned rather than mind aligned and that's been such a um, beautiful expansion coming through for me now it's like oh the shit that's not aligned with me i can really let it go and see what comes through when i'm in my magnetism and it's really fascinating to see what comes through when i embrace my magnetism um and it's a flux and flow don't get me wrong you know i'm going through cycles of play and expansion and wow, I'm seeing myself more clearly than ever. And then coming back to kind of like see through and like go through periods of rage, but then also periods of like compassion and forgiveness and then cycling back up. It's, and you know, to make space for all of that because play is messy. My favorite kind of play is when it's fucking messy. <laughs> you should see me in the kitchen. <laughs> you should see me in the dirt. Like it's, it's great for me when it's messy and that may not be the case for you. That's fine, of course, um, but yeah. 
this is just coming from my heart today and we're also on blue overtone monkey for those of you who are interested in the Mayan astrology you can actually follow along on my Instagram I share um, daily transmissions you could call them I work with the Mayan energy and then I kind of like sit with it and alchemize it into my own poem for the day poem of activation and it's called sacred timelines so at sacred timelines and you can track that there and yeah today's a very playful day but wherever you are even if you're not listening to this on the day i post it when is it not the time for play right so i hope that this lands well in your heart let me know how you like the play below and sending you all lots of love <laughs>